Hello, ARRL readers and ARRL members worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, the author of the column Ask Dave. And in the May 2022 edition of QST, we take a look at the spectrum chart that uh, is from Wikipedia that's in there. I would just like to spend a few minutes going through that chart a little bit, providing a little bit more detail. Let's jump into the chart. This is the chart that appeared in uh, QST, in the May QST. It shows the International Telecommunication Union frequency bands. And note that they are not octaves, but a multiplier by 10. So extremely low frequency goes from 3 to 30 hertz. So the second number is 10 times the first. And this is a logarithmic scale, as you'll note, 3 to 30, 30 to 300, 300 to 3000, and so on, all the way up here to where we get to 3 gigahertz or 3 terahertz, uh, which is a lot, a lot to cover. One thing I want to notice is right here, this one, medium frequency. Now, this is the low frequency band and the high frequency band. And as we see, everything is in reference to the medium frequency band. Now, or MF for short. Now, um, 300 is below our AM broadcast band um, and 500 kilohertz. This is 500 kilohertz here to 3000 kilohertz. Uh, 500 kilohertz for years was the um, emergency at sea frequency uh, and had to be monitored by every ship that was on the ocean. That has changed now since everything is done via satellite. But um, it goes up to 3,000 kilohertz or 3 megahertz. So this includes the entire AM broadcast band plus it includes a ham band. Now, uh, and that is the 160 meter band. Now, it's interesting to note that we have picked up a uh, frequency of 472 kilohertz to 479 kilohertz is a new band for us. It's called the 630 meter band. And it's uh, fairly new. To use these low bands, you have to uh, register to use them, but uh, th those detailers are available on the ARRL frequency chart. Okay, so uh, now if we go down a little lower to the low frequency band, okay, 30 to 300 kilohertz, or 10 kilometers down to one kilometer wavelength, we have the 2200 meter band, uh, the low frequency band that is a ham band now, from 135.7 kilohertz to 137.8 kilohertz. And those are new bands. Now, uh, the 160 meter ham band from 1.8 megahertz to 2 megahertz is also a medium frequency band. So here's the history. We started with Marconi and his work, which was down here in the low frequencies. Okay. Now, let's go down below this. VLF, ULF, SLF, and ELF. Okay. And do the same convention here. From 3 hertz to 30 hertz. That is almost subaudible. Some people can hear down that low. A 32-foot organ pipe, which not many organs have because they're very big, uh, these pipes, that is, uh, is 16 hertz. And you don't so much as hear it as feel it. Okay, very few speaker systems will go down to 30, uh, kilohertz, 30 hertz. Okay, so these seem like audio frequencies, and they are. But if instead of transmitting via uh, the atmosphere, you transmit via wires or 
radio waves, electromagnetic waves, these are perfectly good radio frequencies. Now, one little thing I want to pause here and explain is that you'll note that these bands are exponentially wider, okay, by a factor of 10. Normally, the modulation in the signal can be no greater than one-tenth of the carrier frequency. So if the carrier frequency is, say, 2 megahertz, the biggest practical um, signal that you can get onto that, modulate onto that, is take the 2 megahertz, divide by 10, get 200 kilohertz, 200,000 baud. Okay, a baud is a symbol, symbol per second. Now, if you go up to, say, um, something like 14 uh, megahertz, that would be 140 kilohertz bandwidth signal would be the largest practical signal that you could put uh, in there. Now, we don't do that, of course. Our single sideband signals are 3 kilohertz wide. Um, and if you look at the... Uh, bandwidth transmitted by, say, an AM station, it would be, instead of from 300 to 3,000 hertz, would be more like uh, 50 hertz up to 5,000 hertz, which is higher fidelity. And you go even higher if you go to the FM bands and use FM, where you can go about 30 hertz, sometimes a little lower, all the way up to about 15 kilohertz, those are audio frequencies, and the actual bandwidth, the modulation width of an FM signal is about 200 kilohertz. Now the question is, are there radio frequencies below 3 hertz? The answer is yes, there are. They're called spherics. Think a sphere, it created, like the Earth, creating radio waves, we call them spherics. Look at the wavelength of these frequencies here. 10,000 kilometers is 100,000 to 10, down to 10,000. 10,000 kilometers is one quarter of the way around the Earth at the equator. Uh, 40,000 uh, 40, kilometers is the entire distance around the world. So that'd be 40,000, which would be in the middle here. Some of these wavelengths are even longer. So can the Earth act as a resonator and create radio waves? You bet. It certainly can. They're called spherics. There are little receivers available where you can listen to these. Basically, you literally plug into the ground and listen to these. And there are all kinds of strange phenomena, uh, whistlers, screamers, things like that, that are uh, in this range right here. Now, super low frequency from 30 to 300, the 30, uh, 30, uh, let's see, 30 hertz. We have super low frequency here from 30 to 300 hertz. 300 hertz is the bottom end of a um, voice channel on single sideband. That's the audio on that. These are still audio frequencies. 300 to 3,000, if these are converted to atmospheric waves, uh, these are quite audible. In fact, this right here, the entire ultra-low frequency band, if converted uh, from a radio wave down to this bass band, would be our single sideband um, channel. You can get one single sideband channel in here. Of course, as I said, the carrier frequency needs to be about 10 times as high. Now, when we get to 3 kilohertz to 30 kilohertz, this is about the highest a human can hear. My frequency range is, is stops at about 8 kilohertz because I'm older. But uh, when I was young, I could actually hear the flyback transformers on the old televisions, which were up at quite a high frequency. Now, again, note the difference. Note the difference between a radio wave, which is an electromagnetic wave, and a sound wave, 
which is a pressure wave in the air. Okay, they're not equivalent. Can you create transmitters that will transmit at these frequencies? Yes, you can. But note the wavelengths here. Um, the audio 3 to 30 takes from 10 kilometers up to 100 kilometers uh, in wavelength. That's a very long antenna, but it can be done. Okay, low frequency is where people first started thinking of things as radio waves. You're out of the audio wave now, so we're, we're talking strictly electromagnetic waves at this point. Low frequency from 30 to 300. Medium frequency, 300 to 3000, which covers the AM broadcast band. It covers the old ship radio telegraph bands. It covers the 160 meter band and a bunch of other stuff. There's a shortwave band in there uh, that's often called the tropical band. Note the wavelengths, 100 meters to 1000 meters or a kilometer. High frequency, we're very used to this in ham radio. HF, 3 to 30 megahertz. Now, during World War II, the upper limit for most common technology, unless it was extremely experimental, was HF. It's what people could do. You've got frequencies from 10 meters, which is 30 megahertz, down to 100 meters, which is 3 megahertz. And then when people started to push those bands up, in the VHF, they called it very high frequency, 30 to 300. This includes our 6-meter band and our 2-meter band. Uh, and if you're in Europe, there is a 4-meter band. Okay, so that's 10 down to 1 meters for waving. This becomes quite manageable for making antennas. These can be ponderous if you're doing a 160-meter antenna. It's a ponderous thing, but by the time you get to 40 meters, very manageable, okay? Now, after VHF, my goodness, what do we do that comes next? Well, how about ultra-high frequencies? 300 to 3,000, we're starting to get into radar frequencies. This is 0.3 to 3 gigahertz, okay? 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters about that long, okay? Down to 10 centimeters. Not very long at all. You know the logarithmic uh, waveform here. After that, what do you do next? Well, super high frequencies, SHF, 3 to 30 gigahertz. Okay, we're up in the radar stuff right now, down to centimeter level uh, wavelengths. And then, well, well what do you do it next? Uh, extremely high frequency, EHF, uh, 30 to 300 uh, gigahertz. That's 10 down to one millimeter. These are sometimes called millimeter waves, okay? And uh, then, well, what do you do next? Now this tremendously high frequency, I have not heard very much. Um, what I have heard when people discuss these uh, ranges of frequency is terahertz. This is the terahertz band. Uh, Terra, it's, it's uh, 300 gigahertz to 3 terahertz, which takes you down to 1 millimeter, which is really, really, really tiny, down to a tenth of a millimeter. Now you're saying, oh, wait a minute, at some point here, this is going to become light, and yes, it does. But I just wanted to give you that little explanation, give you a little bit more information about what goes with these uh, bands. Send your questions to Ask Dave and I'll put some uh, here in uh, the column or I'll put some on my YouTube channel. To others I'll just answer with a quick email. So um, we'll talk to you later. Until we next meet, 73.